Hey guys, long time no see. It's me, Drew, and I am back for another empties video. This seems to be the theme of my channel. Um, I rarely do hauls anymore, and I don't know why. I just feel like I like showing my trash more because it gives me and you guys more to know about the product. You know what I mean? It's like, well, okay, it's great at the beginning, but what about using the whole entire thing? So that's why I do it. We're going to start off with home fragrance with some candles, starting off with a Yankee candle. This is a medium to wick tumbler in flowers in the sun. I really, really liked this fragrance, you guys. It's the two wick tumbler. I got this one at the outlet, I believe, for like $12. It burned so super clean all the way down. High flames, great. The throw wasn't super strong. I would prefer it to be a lot stronger, but it is really, really, really yummy. I do have this as an air freshener. I brought it in the bathroom at my job, and it's really, really nice to just freshen the bathroom. It is a really clean scent. So that was that one. I finished a large Tuic tumbler in silver birch. Now, this came out in the fall. I remember this was like, not controversial, but it was kind of weird because this is more like a Christmassy scent. Came out in the fall. I got this one at the outlet as well. Tuic tumbler burned super clean all the way down as well. I will say about when it got to here, the flames were super, super low. Um, I didn't really understand that. It was kind of weird, but um, the throw was actually really, really strong. It's like this piney scent like pine almost like bath and body works winter but not nearly as strong or offensive is how i would describe this it is yummy though i like that then i finished some classic yankee candles i finished the mango peach salsa large jar which i love always have it's super fruity it has a little bit of spice in there which makes it unique to yankee candle really 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 like this jar burn super clean I'm excited to try this in the two-wick tumbler with the new labels, which I do like, by the way. I do have one to review. Um, I do like them. This is the sage and citrus candle. Now, this one stopped burning really, really, um, really, really, like, not super low, and I didn't really understand that. It just, like, blew itself out, but I love this. This is very fresh. This is one of the original Yankee candles. You get equal parts of citrus, so oranges, limes, very, very fresh lemon with that sage, which makes it smoky almost, like very, very herbal. I really, really like that. And then I finished a small jar in Honey Clementine, which is a new scent as well as a new label for Yankee Candle. Um... I'm burning this currently in the large jar, which I have a review that I'll be making probably later today about all the new Yankee Candle Fall scents. I have every single one of the new additions to the line that I will be reviewing for you. But Honey Clementine's really, really yummy. It's really, really sweet, but it has that citrus, which really tones it down. I feel I like it. Now, a feature that maybe a lot of people don't know about the new labels is that they are removable. And they're super clean at removing too. They just peel right off, just like that. So they are super clean for people who don't like that clean or that label. You can definitely take it off. I do like the labels. It's all in personal preference. You cannot get these labels off. These are like impossible to come off. So that's a nice switch. The labels are very contemporary. Like I said, they are growing on me. I have two from Bath and Body Works. I have a cranberry pumpkin candle. Yeah, I know it's really weird, but I had like this much left and I just wanted to burn it. Um, it's really strong, really offensive. Smells burnt halfway through. It's just not a good one. I don't really like it. Then Mango Coconut Cooler. This was last year's Pop Tales collection. This was actually a layered candle. So it was white, yellow, and orange. It all blended into an orange candle. Um, this was completely unscented when I burned it. It smells really, really yummy, like equal mango, coconut, fruity goodness, but burning. Couldn't smell a thing. So Bath & Body Works is, like, done for me. I haven't bought any candles from them in forever, and I don't really plan on it. They're just not really, really good. But anyway, then I have two candles from Anthropology. I finished a Voluspa Panjuri Lychee, which I love this jar. I'm thinking about putting, like, Q-tips in it or something. It smells so good it's very very hard to describe lychee I'm not really 100 percent sure on what a lychee is but it's really sweet and fresh i would say as describe this i think most people would like this scent when they smell it it's really really and this was 26 dollars. it's still available at anthropology in this size as well as a really small size and now 
the standout candle from the whole entire um since i made a last empties video is this avocado and mint candle by it doesn't even say who makes this candle it doesn't say a loom a loom makes this it's a small like a tea um spice tin it burned not super super clean but the smell for one this was small i put this in my living room because i wanted something super fresh and super clean filled up the entire living room the whole entire downstairs from this small candle but it wasn't overpowering and like i said this is avocado and mint i definitely smell the mint more and then it has this creamy underlying scent which is the avocado it's really fresh really clean and this baby was only 18 dollars and this is how many ounces 11 ounce candle and it burned forever i love this i definitely want to pick up some more from this brand as well as more of this one because it was definitely a standout now on to my favorite beauty products i have a lot <laughs> i finished a beautiful day shower gel from bath and body works this is the newer formula with the blue it used to be green this is my favorite scent from bath and body works it's like fresh summertime goodness shower gels just basic I finished the L'Occitane Verbena Cooling Deodorant. This I did not like at all. Um, I found that it felt cooling as soon as you put it on and then you couldn't smell it or anything the rest of the day. It just, not even you couldn't smell it, you couldn't feel it working. And I know it's not an antiseptic, it or an antiseptic, it's not an antiperspirant, but it just wasn't for me. And I finished a L'Occitane uh, lip balm. It's a 10% shea butter. This is really, really nice. There's literally, like, nothing left. Um, I rarely finish lip balm, so I was proud that I finished this one up. Again, nothing too special, just a basic, nice, hydrating lip balm. I finished a Crabtree and Evelyn Crab, Apple, and Mulberry Soap. I used this as a hand soap upstairs in my bathroom. Super, super fresh. Um, the Crab Apple is really unique because it's a, f it's a floral. So don't expect something super fruity from this scent, even though it has mulberry. The pictures are a lot of florals, but there are some fruit, but it's definitely a fresh, powdery, perfumey type scent. It's really, it's really good. I finished a Tony Moly uh, tea tree mask. It's a sheet mask. I really liked this. It was a soothing mask. It was very, very cooling. Um, one of my really good friends, Ashley, actually gave this to me, but it's just, it's really, really, really good. I, I definitely... Would recommend this. Tony Moly has some really cool stuff, and it's not super expensive either, which is nice. I finished a Crabtree and Evelyn Verbena and Lavender hand cream. This is nice. I always keep a hand cream like this in my car because sometimes when you're driving, your hands do get kind of dry. It's 50% Verbena, 50% Lavender. So it's really, really cool. Those two scents really aren't mixed together that often. So to have them mixed is really, really cool. Then I finished a Philosophy Shower Gel in English Toffee. I have to admit, I use this as bubble bath for the bottom half because the scent's really sickeningly sweet. Not for me. I finished from The Face Shop. These are Rice Water Cleansing Wipes. One of my really good friends, Jen, actually gave these to me. Um, they're nice. They irritated her skin, but I use these at the end of the day. I take makeup off um, before actually cleansing, but it's a really nice, just gentle cleanser. I really, really like that. Then I finished the Beautiful Day Foaming Sugar Scrub from Bath & Body Works. This one's also super, super nice. It's very, uh, the same scent. But the Foaming Sugar Scrub is nice because it's a cleanser and a scrub in one, which is really, really convenient. Then I finished two Chanel skincare products. I finished the Chanel Mousse Exfoliant Purite, which is an exfoliating cleansing foam really nice it does give you that squeaky clean feeling so if you're not into that you won't like this but the toner is awesome this is the lotion du jour gentle hydrating toner really really like this stuff and um i believe these both were 45 dollars each but the chanel toner and the cleanser they last forever you guys you think that the packaging is really small really does last forever which is awesome they're really really great products then I have some hand soaps. I finished Pumpkin Cupcake, Mahogany Teakwood, and ma Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Very folly type scents, um, but I keep these in my powder room upstairs, and that's definitely where I keep these. Well, it is where I keep them, but I um, use them whenever I'm in there, so I really um, 
don't really care what scents are in there because I wash my hair hands a lot in there. That's where I do my hair and using a lot of styling products, you have to wash your hands a bunch of times. So that's why I don't use expensive hand soaps in the bathroom. Speaking of expensive hand soaps, this is Aesop's um, Resurrections Aromatic Hand Wash. It is mandarin, rosemary, and cedar. Very, very nice hand wash. This was, I think, $55, but it's an awesome, awesome hand wash. One pump, cleans the hands, makes them super soft. Even my dad really liked it. And the scent is just like very, very citrusy. Very citrusy. Words of Graveyard Girl. But I really, really, really like it. Then, I don't know why I'm so giggly today. I finished Aquanet. Everybody knows what this is. It's what keeps my hair up. I'm getting it cut on Wednesday. Don't worry. I can't stand it. Aquanet. Then I finished Eve Loam Cleansing Balm. This is my favorite cleansing balm ever. It's just super expensive. I believe this was like $120. Um, it's cinnamon, eucalyptus, and hops. And let me tell you, I looked forward to cleansing every single night using this cleansing balm. It's very invigorating. It has a little bit of a scrub to it, but when you rinse it off, it just feels phenomenal on your skin. Your skin feels soft. It smells beautiful. Definitely recommend Eve Loam Cleansing Balm. Another luxury product that I finished, sad to say, was the Geranium and Walnut Joe Malone Body Scrub. I'm so sad that I'm out of this. There's literally the tiniest bit left, and I'll probably just use it on my hands, but... It smells like dirt and just fresh. It's really, really cool. And I actually found out that geranium matches every fragrance. Like, it doesn't con con conflict with anything. That's why there's geranium in here. And it uses walnuts to scrub. It's really, really, really nice. I used it, like, before I went to the theater or anything. I finished a Kate Somerville Gentle Daily Wash. Really like this as a simple wash on my Clarisonic. Um, it's a definitely a simple cleanser. Nothing too crazy. Doesn't leave you stripped. Still leaves you hydrated. I finished Luna, my baby Luna. I absolutely love this product. It's Sunday Riley. Um, I do have another one that I'm still using because I cannot get over it. Sad to say this one actually I dropped on the ground and broke, but it's okay. I got every last drop. This probably lasted about good six or seven months using it every night, six to seven drops. Life-changing retinol. It's awesome. On the same vein, I finished a Good Jeans. This is a dangerous product because it is super, super expensive, but it works. And that's what kills me, and it also goes really quickly. It's $105, just like Luna is, but it is a plastic, surgery, plastic surgeon grade, I think, lactic acid. Like, it is high up there, and it's really refining, really good to clean out the pores. It's a good exfoliator. I'm trying to lean away from physical exfoliators for my face, and work on more chemical exfoliators and this is definitely amazing i have another bottle of it and i just bought a new one for backup because i cannot be without good jeans or luna then i finished the clinique custom repair serum i did like this i did not like the way it felt on my skin i like the results um it felt let me see if there's any left no there's literally like a tiny drop um it left my skin very powdery so it left a very matte finish which I like not to be oily, but I also don't like to have that powdery feeling. I don't know. It was not for me. Then I finished the Kudli, Kudli, Kudli Beauty Elixir. Um, it's the grape water elixir. Awesome stuff. Good for setting your makeup. Good for toning. Good for just a refresher throughout the day. This stuff is like 50 bucks. Um, it is really nice. I did go through this rather quickly. Um, there is nothing left. but Oh, yeah. But the spray. Oh, wow. Mm, is really nice and it smells so good obsessed with this one more product before i get into the lush goodies this is the verbena shower gel from loxaton really really nice very uplifting now on to lush i finished a whole entire liter of beautiful shower gel love 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 this fragrance it's like a sun-kissed apricot goodness mm -mm -mm, it smells so good and finished a whole liter of it this month I also finished a Wash That Man right out of my hair shower gel. This is the 250ml size. Um, really wasn't a fan of it when it came out. Using it on the skin is really, really, really nice, you guys. It's very softening, but it also leaves you... I don't want to say leaves you with that squeaky clean feeling like bar soap because I don't like that feeling, but it left me feeling clean. 
really good for the summer. I only have like the teeniest bit left. I'll probably use it, but there's that. Then I finished Fresh from the Kitchen Yummy 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 Shower Gel. This smells just like Strawberry Fields Forever. If you're familiar with that, it's very a uh, frothy pink strawberry scent. The formula was very, very runny though. Um, I prefer a thicker shower gel. Now on to black pots. I have a lot. The first thing, well actually it's not a black pot. It is the Dirty Toothy Tabs. I really like these. They're the ones that probably taste most like mint. Just crunch up between your teeth, brush. They're really nice. I finished Nightwing Shower Jelly, which came from Halloween. It almost smells like Mountain Dew Sprite. Very effervescent lime. I finished Lemon Melt shower jelly which was also a gift from my friend ashley um she does have a youtube or um, a blog it's called plump and polish i'll leave the link below for you guys to check out she does nail polish videos um lemon melt shower jelly really isn't a shower jelly it's like a liquid shower gel so it was very hard to use you had to pour it out of the pot i wasn't a big fan and the scent was a little odd i finished dream cream hand and body lotion changed my life in the summer um I got I get really bad sunburn very easily. This soothed my skin after every shower. Putting this on from my neck down really just made my skin super comfortable. Holy Grail Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. Super, super salty. Super coconutty. I left this by my sink in the kitchen after you do the dishes or whatever. Give your hands a nice scrub. It leaves them super soft. Volcano foot mask. We're actually doing a foot campaign right now. Definitely pop into your local shop and ask for a demo of the volcano. It's really nice. Has fresh tomato and potato. It's really detoxifying. It's good for a long day. If you're working or working out or doing anything with your feet and it really, really hurts after a long day, come home, put that on. It's really nice for your skin, for your feet. Sympathy for the skin hand and body lotion. This is a thin lotion, but it's really, really hydrating. You can definitely feel it on the skin, which I like. It smells like vanilla. Um, it's a nice in between my dream cream, which is still my fave lotion. Then last but not least, I finished Needles and Pine Shower Jelly. Kind of got a little disformed there, but Needles and Pine Shower Jelly smells just like a, uh, a campfire. That's it. it. Smells just like a Christmas tree. And shower jellies are super popular, very trendy right now. Really fun, like a jiggly soap. But that was my video, you guys. What have you tried that I have reviewed? And what did you think? Um, standout products, definitely the avocado and mint candle. Anything from Sunday Riley. And definitely Volcano. Definitely check this out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I know I'm not good about posting videos, you guys. I know it's terrible. Um, I just don't know. I need to get in the... I need to get in the spirit of doing it again. But hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.